Hi all, today I'll be showing you how to inherit a view for a particular group of users. So for the video purpose, I'll be inheriting the sayloader view form and I'll be creating a new field which will be displayed after the customer. Okay, so let's get into it. So for that, I have created a new uh, models file and inside the models file, I created a new class that is sayloader inherit and the model says models.model and uh, the underscore inherit as sale dot order and inside that i have created a new field that is sale underscore commission which is an integer field so next we'll define the xml file for this so that i have defined a new record as a sale underscore inherit and the model as i dot ui dot view i have specified a name for the record that is sale dot order dot inherit and the model as sale dot order next we'll specify the groups for which we are uh, inheriting this view so for that i have defined a new field tag with name groups underscore id and eval is equal to square bracket and inside that we open a bracket with a value as 4 comma ref the xml id of the groups for which we are inheriting this view to get the xml id we have to go to the settings we have to enable the debug mode before this and inside the user dot uh, user and companies go to the groups and search for sales so this will be the group for which we are inheriting this view so if we go to the metadata we can get the xml id for this group that is sales underscore team dot group sale manager i have already copied this here next i have added the inherit id and the reference as sale dot view order form this is the xml id of a sale order form and i have added the new field sale underscore commission after the partner id so this is about the coding next we'll restart the service say so we'll update the module so now if we go back to the <coughs> sales module if we click on the create button we can see that the new field is displayed here so as currently the Michelle admin is the administrative user, this field will be displayed. So now I'll change this access rights, I mean group. So for that, I'll go to the users, Michelle admin, edit. And inside the sales, let's say, I'll set it as user on documents only. So now if I save this and go back to the sales module again, and if I click on the create button, cool. so in order for the uh, view to be applied, we'll have to refresh the screen. So we'll refresh the screen okay. and after refreshing the screen we can see that the field is not i mean the field is hidden that is it will be displayed only if the corresponding user is an administrative user so this is how we inherit a view for a particular group of users i hope you have understood the video thank you